Phoebe. Yes, that's me. You are in a bathroom stall on level one of uh, Sterling and Sons Silver Corporation. The power has just gone out, uh, and you hear from Savannah, your uh, orientation friend. Mm-hmm. Holy shit, what the fuck was that? Uh, I, I don't know, I'm not an electrician. God, me neither. I can't see anything. Yeah, me, hold on. Uh, Phoebe's gonna pull out her phone and uh, turn on the flashlight. All right, as you pull out your phone, a uh, small doll falls on the floor. Ah! Uh, and you hear, ah, oh, what the fuck? Who cut the power? I, is that who I think it is? <laughs> I scoop the doll up and I'm like, uh, this is mine. What? I'm not yours! <laughs> She's gonna put the doll in her purse uh, pocket. Savannah says, Is there someone else in here? Just my phone being really loud. <laughs> um I yeah, I think somebody just walked out the door. Really? Really? Yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> Do you wanna roll persuasion? Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> Cause that was stupid. Listen, what am I gonna say? A fucking doll is talking? I'm not gonna tell this random woman named after a fucking town in Georgia about my talking doll. Whoa, what the fuck was that? Oh, oh sorry, that's my dog. That's my, uh, can I, can I retcon that and say it's, uh, his string got caught on something and he started talking? Your dog? My doll. Your doll? Oh, yeah, um, no, you already said it. God damn no. it. <laughs> Max, this is in real time. <laughs> what am I rolling? Persuasion? Uh, or fast talk. You did lie. That is a lie. It should probably be fast talk. Yeah, I'll do fast talk. I have decent fast talk. Haha. -ha. Uh, I passed. It's a success. Okay. Uh, Savannah says, Man, fucking sound travels, am I right? Yeah, it really does. And talk about WD-40. They really keep this place nice and uh, non-squeaky. <laughs> Uh, she, she opens the, uh, the stall door. Uh, do you do the same? The stall door? Are we in the bathroom? Yes! Oh, yeah, that's right, we went to go pee! Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna walk out of the stall. Okay. Uh, Savannah, uh, runs her phone across the wall, uh, finds a light switch and flicks it a few times to no avail. Says, well, we should, where, what do we do? Uh, maybe we should try to find the rest of the group? So that way, you know, we're not stranded in this place. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Yeah, I think so. Uh, and the two of you exit. Cornelius. Hello? Uh, Staples Duffy says, Oh, holy sh- oh, Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> me, Tobert Fungelstein. What? <laughs> He was like, he was like kind of Teo, but not quite as nasally. It's like, me. Oh my god, Master, yeah. Master Stapler, John Interview, what the fuck are we gonna do? Uh, have you never experienced a power outage before in your life? No, Sterling operates, we have very good power here. I, I've never, I've never been here for a power outage. I don't know protocol, I don't know procedure. Well, I mean, it's dark as shit in here, so maybe we should go not here. <laughs> Do you have one of those modern cellular phones? I only have a flippy. I do. I take out my phone and I turn the light on so that we're not sitting in the dark still shaking hands. Okay. <laughs> were you guys shaking hands all this time? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. The two of you go outside and you see, uh, you see some panicked employees sort of uh, looking around. Um, one of them says... Oh, look who came out of the bathroom if, if it isn't Duffy or Staples Duffy. How's it going, SD? Uh, and <laughs> Staples says, Oh, hey, hey guys, this is, uh, this is our new hire, um, John interview. Uh, John, these are my co workers. Uh, and one of them says, Oh, wow, this is your master stapler, huh? Uh, what a wonderful time to be being rude in the dark. Uh, do any of you th have anything better to do? Like, I don't know, stop standing around in the dark? <laughs> With the, uh, the, so there were two of them, I imagine. <laughs> It's me, Rebecca Fungelberg. I agree with the master stapler. Eat a dick. Fuck off. Your report sucks. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> says another employee as she walks by <laughs> with a very similar name to Tobert. <laughs> Rebecca Fungelsberg, something like that. It had fung in it. Um, uh, she's a fun guy. <laughs> uh, another one turns to you, Cornelius, and says, <laughs> We work on computers. We're basically useless right now. As two of them high five. Well, then why don't you go home? Right now? What do you mean always? <laughs> I can still staple in the dark. What can you do when there's a power outage, huh? Be useless? Please. Get out of my way. <laughs> the elevators are super down right now. and <laughs> We're not bugging. <laughs> oh, I'm afraid of stairs. Get out of my way. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you this going? This is a fucking <laughs> ride. What the I'm, fuck? I, uh, I'm I missed the beginning and... part of this. So I just... <laughs> I, there's just a bunch of people going... Wah, wah. <laughs> um, I'm going to try and get everyone to the stairs to fucking go and then i'm gonna go find the security office that i was meant to be finding oh shit all right cornelius uh taking the lead on the most unruly floor in the building apparently <laughs> you start gathering up people to uh make the trek downstairs meanwhile far 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 below atticus and tobert uh you've been walking for about two minutes into the tunnel uh and tobert says what the fuck are we doing? Uh, Addy, what the fuck are we doing right now? Hunting? <laughs> hunting? Addy, do you hear? What the fuck are we doing down here? Um, looking for a mole. <laughs> a giant <laughs> mole. I. He holds up his two, like, Ghostbusters laser proton Do not laser point proton those at packs. me. Do not point those at me. Uh, no, he just holds them up oh, in the okay. air. He says, I am not equipped to fucking handle this, and neither are you! What the fuck are we doing? Why didn't we just fucking kill that guy back there and take his key card? Well, um... Hmm. Well, I didn't really want to kill him. Also, I feel like that'd come back on us. But... I don't know why we didn't make an attempt to incapacitate him. That's what I'm saying! Neither of us are capable of fighting off whatever the fuck made these tunnels. I've fought stuff before. What? Um... But a ghost man who was trying to kill us in a magic haunted house. On Halloween? Eddie, no, this is no time no, for jokes. I'm not joking. Tobert, did you not just fucking remember the last conversation we had three minutes ago? Yeah, sure I did. I don't know if you noticed, we're in a tunnel dug by that thing from Spongebob. You mean Spoonjboob? Spoonjboob. <laughs> Spongebunge. <laughs> Spongebunge. <laughs> Dug by Spongebob. Yes, but yes, Spock Bob. Um, Spongebob, Squatch Bob. Spongebob. Spongebob. Nope, that's, no. not, that's not what it's called. It's not Spongebob. Oh, no. Spongebob, Grunch, Grunk, Trunk. Spongebob, Grunk, Trunk. Oh, God. Uh, anyway, I. <laughs> That was really good. Sorry. <laughs> Skunk bung wong trunk trunk. Skunk trunk wong trunk. bongus. <laughs> Tobert says, we're all having fun here. And he pulls out his uh, his little pocket walkie-talkie and he says, <clears throat> What? What if they're with other people? And he, he comes and says, We'll speak in codes. <laughs> Give Who do you trust more, Phoebe or Cornelius? Um. <laughs> <laughs> Choose you wisely. Uh, this could this could be your relationship with Phoebe's end. Would you really end your relationship with Atticus as minor to minor to not really friend because she didn't trust you as much as Cornelius in an, in a conversation yes. that you would never hear? Yes, yeah. yeah, she would know. Cornelius would be like, "Yeah, she contacted me." I'd be like. <laughs> Honestly, that's she probably would. what would happen. Like a week from now, Cornelius would be like, Whew, thank goodness that Atticus called me when <laughs> she did. And Phoebe would be like, What? She called you. <laughs> thank goodness do she I called know this me about when Phoebe? I did. I don't know, do you? Do you no, know how you immature? No. Do you yeah. know how immature Phoebe is? <laughs> yeah, you definitely know how mature Phoebe is. But also, that would probably influence your decision more. Um, it's weird, because I feel like I trust... Um, 
Phoebe on an emotional level, even though Phoebe's fucked me up <laughs> several <laughs> times. Punched you in the back because you asked her to. <laughs> yeah, I didn't ask you to break it. I just was like, give me a, give me a bruise. This is a game of chance, bruise. Beth. You can Shatter never. Your uh, side. <laughs> you should never bet on Phoebe punching soft. You know what? I mean, I feel like I trust Cornelius and like to execute a situation but also on a base level i absolutely hold no trust for that man something is wrong with him and all I can't, he knows is corn i can't put my finger on it but i know something's wrong listen i was listening okay on a side note this is this is completely on a side note i was listening to the episode we put up last night today you know the one that we put up today yeah and uh cornelius yeah i'm just i'm <laughs> What's Cornelius up? is gonna be something. I think there's. I, I agree with you, Beth. There's definitely something up. Oh, there's Cornelius. not just something. I know what it is. I know that Teo is a demon, and I know that I, Cornelius made a thing. And I know I've listened. I've listened with my mind's eye and my ear bones. I know. I know exactly what he's doing with that fucking theme park. He bought an empty lot. And he was like, I don't have enough money to open a fucking theme park. I'll just open a shitty one. And then he was like, I don't have enough money for that either. I can't even afford to not step in muffins every morning i'm too poor for that but then this demon comes on and he's like what up i'm teo i'm gonna beth we've had this conversation like four times can you just tell me who you trust more <laughs> all right tobert gives you a weird look and says really over over cornelius that yeah. handsome man that, uh, that, that hunk of corn that handsome hunk of corn <laughs> i'm a lesbian oh <laughs> He kind of squints at you and says, what the fuck does that have to do with me calling Phoebe? Oh, I just, I don't know. Never mind. I don't trust Cornelius. (laughs) Uh, He holds up the walkie-talkie and says, "Uh, P, this is... uh, T down in the basement. Do you copy? Uh, And Phoebe, you hear a little muffled from your back pocket. Um, I'm going to look at Savannah. Where's Savannah? Is she still next to me? Yeah. Uh, I look at Savannah, and I'm like, ooh, hold on, Savannah, give me one second. I'm getting a phone call. I'm going to step away, okay? Uh, okay. You, If you want to go on, you can. I will run up and catch up with you. I'll be right outside the bathroom, I guess. Okay. We Okay, perfect. I'm going to go back in the bathroom. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's, what's up, T? It's me, P. Uh, P, we got a situation down in, uh, the B. Hey, Phoebe, um, there's a giant monster down here, and some guy ditched us. We're trapped. We're gonna die. He gave us guns. I didn't really want those. Um, anyway, they're, like, secret, like, spy guns. Anyway, um, I want to leave. Uh, oh, okay. Um, do you hear, like, a little, like, as, as, uh, Tobert tries to grab it back from you guys? <laughs> and says, P, this is T again. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> What's up, T? A was not wrong. We are stranded <laughs> down here. What is your status up there? Uh, I'm in the bathroom. Uh, I'm with a girl named Savannah. Um, I, you guys are in the basement? Yeah. Listen, I don't know what sort of shit we got ourselves into here. These exterminators are hunting something big. They're okay. magic police. <laughs> As Agnes grabs it again. <laughs> Uh, okay, how, okay, what do you guys want me to do? How am I going to get to the basement? All right, well, first of all, uh, Cornelius should hopefully have activated the elevator, but, oh, fuck, we should have talked to Cornelius first. All I need you to do is go over to the elevator and, uh, bring it down to B30 whatever, okay? B31. 24? Yeah. 30 whatever, got it. It's like the lowest level. Yeah. Okay. There's um, nothing else we need to know? N- <sighs> no? I don't think so. <laughs> Baby! <laughs> Is the power still on? Just by any chance. I, I told you guys the power was out, didn't no. I? No, you didn't. Oh, I thought I fucking mentioned that. <laughs> no. Yeah, no, the power's out. Um, oh, well, that might have been fucking good to mention, wouldn't it? Oh, so you can't bring the elevator down to rescue us? Uh, looks like I'm diving down to the 31st place basement floor, I guess. You'll die, <laughs> fee boat. I'm a powerhouse. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm gonna... Okay, stay... Oh, my God. Stay right there. Hold on. Uh, and he flicks the frequency. C, come in C. Uh, Cornelius, you are uh, hurting uh, more ob- obnoxious people over to the <laughs> stairs when you hear your walkie-talkie go off. I turn the volume down, and I try to get everyone to the stairs, and then I tell them, okay, guys, uh, I'll be... I'll catch up in a second. I'm getting a phone call, so... <laughs> what, you think we're just gonna walk? <laughs> 
I will push you down the stairs. <laughs> Don't Rebecca think does. I won't. Wait, I want to roll for Rebecca to push one of someone down the stairs. Oh, God. You're Thank not Rebecca. I am also, too. Cornelius, roll intimidation. Oh, I am too, goodness. Rebecca. Right. I am Rebecca, too. Everyone's Rebecca. <laughs> Beth does this like every six months or so. She'll be like, no, I'm this NPC. Rebecca got a 94. <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca tries to push someone and falls down the stairs herself. <laughs> Is Rebecca dead? Yeah, bye, Rebecca. <laughs> Uh, so that's a success. Uh, nine I got. Okay. Uh, so the <laughs> everyone kind of quiets and they're like, okay, we'll wait for you, I guess. No, you don't have to wait for me. You can go. I just am letting you know that I'm going to be taking a call. <laughs> okay. And they all start walking down the stairs. Uh, I go back into the, uh, I guess, hallway to start looking for the security office and I answer my, my walkie talk boy. Hey, C? Yes. This is T. What's going on? What's the status? Uh, power's out, so I had to convince a bunch of belligerent uh, office workers to go downstairs so I could look for the security office. Doing the Lord's work, C. Doing the Lord's work. Listen, A and I are trapped in the basement right now. Please help me. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a... Atticus! What you Stop! Doing? I'm not taking it from him. I'm just leaning over and I'm like, hey, what up, Cornelius? I'm trapped in the basement with my brother's best friend slash minion boy. Minion I gotta, boy? I gotta get out of here. <laughs> you hear fucking Phoebe over the fucking uh, walkie talkie like, haha, minion boy. <laughs> You're not on this channel. And Listen. <laughs> All right, you got to get the power back on. I don't know what the fuck is down here, but we are probably not alone, and it is probably extremely dangerous. Help! Wait, so what? You're trapped in the basement. So we, we went down the stairs. We went down, and we were like, "Haha, we kill bugs." And this guy was like, "Yeah, bugs," <laughs> and winked. And we were like, "Huh? What is uh, that? Bugs. What does that mean?" But yeah, we kill bugs, and we came down the stairs. Elevator. The elevator. <laughs> There's no. <laughs> See, there's no stairs here. This place is not up to safety standards. <laughs> we came down the elevator, and he was like, here's some cool vacuums. And I was like, yay. And then I shot it, and it was a gun. And now <laughs> we're trapped down here with worms. <laughs> Giant worms. <laughs> so, Cornelius, could you please get me out of here? Yeah, I'll, I'll get right on that, guys. I don't think they keep the power supply on the 32nd floor, though. <laughs> Oh god, you guys are gonna have to restart the power. I'm gonna have to fight a worm. <laughs> uh oh god. Uh, okay. Oh the security office. <laughs> <laughs> are you hanging up on them? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, well if you can flip the switch, whatever, find find the way to restart or at least activate the elevators to the lower levels, then at least when the power comes back on, you can just hop down and help us. Uh, we are kind of operating on what I like to call a IDFK level right now. Uh, yeah, all right. I'll work on that. All right. All it's right. an I don't fucking know, Atticus. <laughs> oh. Sorry, I'm too stressed out to think. Okay, all right. I was cool, and now Tobert's flipping his lid, and <laughs> honestly, I just, like, launched myself onto the nearest emotional person, and now I'm flipping out. I don't like basements! <laughs> Why did right, you come well, down here, well, Tobe? Okay, guys, uh, hang out near the elevator, and um, also, does it look like there's any lights on it? Yeah. Yeah, power's on down here, so I guess whatever <sighs> whatever went out is probably a uh, different power supply. Uh, Lord knows what is powering this bad boy. I don't even want to think about it. Probably some spooky basement voodoo. <laughs> no, probably just a backup generator. This Flip is This is a... Like a different facility in enti almost in entirety. Flip the switch, see? We'll meet, we'll rendezvous with you in a little bit, okay? Okie dokie. All right. Uh, and he goes back to Phoebe, Phoebe's channel, and says, P, you still there? Yeah, that's me, P. All right, listen. Uh, I'm going to need you to activate emergency power. Uh, how? I don't know. Uh, that is up to you to figure out. Uh, but if the elevator isn't going to run, then we certainly cannot use the elevator to get out of here. Not that we really could anyway. I could pick the lock on the elevator. Doesn't matter if the elevator's not here. We could climb. Tobert pales. <laughs> so okay, hold on. Uh, 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 no, 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 no. Hold on. I got an idea, guys. I got, I got this. And Phoebe just 
hangs up her walkie talkie turns it off uh from the basement uh tobert turns to you atticus and says we're gonna fucking die down here <laughs> tobert you might be right have some faith tobert <laughs> Phoebe, phoebe's good at what she does all right uh does anyone particularly want to go next because we're gonna kind of flip around i want to do something with i want to talk to tobert okay uh <laughs> i'll let you guys take a few minutes and plan your next course of action uh tobert leans up against the elevator uh breathing heavily tobert why do you still work for anderson oh what do you mean why do you still work for him your brother pays very well yeah but aren't you tired of doing all of this weird shit for him that launches you into situations like this i mean not like this specifically but like you know danger you have to you just talked about like killing someone like it was nothing uh he kind of gives you a a sad smile and says addy this is what i do i know this is what i do but i don't i don't want to do it and i i made a deal with him to to get out well god bless your soul addy and he looks around and says but if this is the cost of getting out, I'd rather stay in. Do you think it's worth it to get out? Uh, I don't know. That's sort of like a, you got to look back at yourself in 10 years and be like, oh, I was here. And now I'm here. But you got a degree. I'm sure you can find something. Be free. Maybe. But I don't know. I just I just wanted to know why you were still in the game. <laughs> it's it's all i really know addy do you think he'd ever get out oh your brother yeah no you don't think so addy i've known a lot of people in the game i have never seen someone quite as deep in as your brother do you think it's gonna kill him <laughs> that's one of those Look back at yourself in 10 years and see where you are now kind of deals, huh? Mm. He's uh, pretty good about keeping his hands clean, though. Yeah, I'm sure he is. He uh, holds out one of the proton packs and says, You sure you don't want this? I will never touch a gun. It's more like a reverse vacuum cleaner. Can you shoot it one more time? Um, he fires off a blast of laser, uh, and it goes into a nearby hole. Yeah, if, if it was like a space vacuum. Now, you know you know my stance on guns, dude. Uh, you know I'm not fucking with that. Yeah, well, again, more like a vacuum. Uh, as you hear the, uh, the blast sort of ricochet into the chamber getting quieter and quieter. It joins with another noise, a very low, far off rumble. Um, um, what the fuck? What the fuck? Um, I, she like grabs his arm, like grips it. She's like, what is that? He stands up uh, from the elevator shaft that he was leaning against, turns to you, turns back towards the tunnel, grimaces, and says, I have a feeling we're going to find out. <laughs> max here for your regularly scheduled ad break <laughs> what's up thanks for listening to all that glitters part four it's arc two episode four season two baby tell a friend about it please oh my god that would help us so much if you would tell a friend your friends they love you and they respect you and they know that you have good taste in podcasts which is why when you recommend this isn't normal it's really good and then you can talk to your friends about the show and how much you like the show hopefully 
Um, no, but actually, thank you all so much for your support because we couldn't do this without it. Um, the next episode's gonna come out when? I don't fucking know, the 26th? The 26th of August. Uh, which actually reminds me, and I wanted to hopefully be able to remember to make this announcement for the next few weeks, but we're getting back into school time. Um, lots of our lots of our listeners make uh, this is a normal part of their Monday school routine, and we're very thankful for those that are. Uh, but that's not the reason I'm bringing it up. Um, as we start to get back into school, uh, lots of people are kind of out and about, you know. If you see someone sitting by themselves, like, kind of all alone, you should say something to them. You never know, like, what kind of a difference you can make in someone's life. So be cool. Make some new friends this fall. Thanks to This Isn't Normal. Uh, anyway, let's get let's get back to some actual ads. Um, like for instance, let's talk about where you can follow us. You can follow us on Twitter at capital T I N underscore cast and on Tumblr at T I N dash cast. You know, I was like, Tumblr's been kind of sucking recently. Yeah, it turns out people really did leave, huh? A lot of people just kind of made their way out of there. That sucks. Uh, but you can follow us on Twitter for sure. <laughs> um, and if you have something nice to say about the show, maybe use the hashtag TinCast so that we know you're out there and we can uh, name a character after you in the show. This arc, we want to thank Savannah uh, and other people who down the line. Um, but that'd be awesome. And of course, for doing something cool, you can also get entered into the Listener of the Week shenanigan, which is where I give you a very personal thank you for your support and talk about what you've done. It's one of my favorite new segments on the ad break <laughs> shenanigan. Um, and this week, it's Emmy. That's right. One of our Snake Eyes patrons, Emmy, who has been nothing but a one whole darling to us uh, for her duration of knowing about the show. She live tweeted her experiences with season one. Uh, she's an active member of our Discord community. You can find us on Discord, by the way. There's a link. It's the pinned tweet on Twitter. Um, Sorry, uh, but Emmy is just all around a bundle of joy, and we are so grateful she's a part of our community. Thank you, Emmy. You're the listener of the week. Woohoo! Uh, hey, if you would like to help the show out financially, because shows require money to function, and we're no different, uh, you can find us at patreon.com slash tincast. There's so many good things. We have episode previews and, and bonus content. For $5 and up, you get 90 minutes of additional bonus content every month. Which, by the way, this is a call to arms uh, this week to all of our patrons. Uh, $5 and up. If you have questions about the show, get them to us this week. Um, and then we can talk about them during our Under the Table for August, which we'll probably do in a little while down the line uh but please 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 if you have a question get it to us so we can answer it uh and of course we also have our big boy thank you tears the tears where i thank you every single week and i use a funny voice because apparently people like the funny voice and that's why it's time to thank our, crit our critical success patrons i almost didn't do the voice alexander getty joseph stowell smarties and robin and our snake eyes patrons brett abraham niji dragon emmy kirchner and lucas thank you all so much for your continued support <coughs> oh god oh god i think i'm dying right here during the ad break tell my wife and kids i love them very much <laughs> but my favorite my favorite was always the statue of Sonic the Hedgehog. Patreon.com slash Tincast. Uh, <laughs> so fucking stupid. <laughs> uh, anyway, I have to get ready for vacation. That's right, I'm on vacation next week. It's going to be awesome. Why is this even part of the ad break? Anyway, please tell a friend. Uh, give the show a rating. That's the other thing I wanted to say. Uh, but otherwise, let's get back into the madness. So I'm sure you're all dying to get back into it. So let's do that. Join us on August 26th for the next part of All That Glitters. Tell a friend. I love you. Goodbye. <laughs>
Cornelius, unlike the rest of the facility, uh, the security office appears to be operating on some sort of auxiliary power. Uh, there's a dim red light illuminating the interior. And uh, one of the security guards sees you from outside the glass uh, window that separates you and him and says, Hey there, bud. What are you doing? Uh, power's out. Uh, yeah, you think? Y- yeah. And the other security guard says, this fucking guy. Hey, guys. <laughs> uh, where are we, are we supposed to go? I came for an interview today, and I don't know what to do. Uh, well, we're going to be sending uh, everyone down the stairs. Uh, just a moment. We just got to gather them up. Uh, have to finish our uh, company-sponsored uh, lunch, of course. Oh, okay. Uh, would you mind if I waited for you guys? We could go downstairs together. Uh, one of them shrugs and says, this fucking guy wants to wait for us, huh? Huh? Uh, and the other... Max. <laughs> what is that? Gorf. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the other one says, oh, well, you want our protection? Oh, I'm too scared to go back down the stairs. I, I see this is the floor full of assholes. <laughs> I see now. I see you suck just as much as everyone else on this floor. Yeah. You're just like everyone else on this floor. Rebecca, I'm calling you guys miserable. Rebecca rises from suck. the dead. And she's just like, get it. <laughs> the two of them high five. <laughs> Does Cornelius punch them out? Cornelius should punch them out. <laughs> no, they're like in a room, right? Yeah. I mean, I'd have to like punch through a door first. Yeah, that's fine. Just do it. <laughs> <laughs> you guys suck. Breaks down a door and beats the <laughs> shit out of them. <laughs> you guys are fucking miserable. <laughs> you guys <laughs> fucking suck. As <laughs> I dropped my D10. Alright, well, I don't want to flip back immediately to Phoebe because the- <laughs> we've had Cornelius for about a minute. Um. So, no, go to Phoebe. I want to thonk. Okay, you thonk about it. Um, Pahibi. It's me, Pahibi. Uh, down on the first floor. Uh, Savannah is waiting for you outside of the bathroom as you exit and says, important bathroom call? Uh, yeah. Hey, Savannah, how well do you know this building? This is my first day on the job, same as you. She, she kind of thinks for a second and then she's like, Savannah, do you like breaking the rules? Uh, she shakes her head vigorously and says, but I don't have anything else better to do. Do you want to help me find the emergency power? We're gonna we're gonna help this building get back into shape. Wow, that sounds pretty brave. Maybe we could even start with promotions. Yeah, may, first day and we're already helping out this building. I think it's a good idea. Cool. I'm super down. All right. She pauses and says, "You're not like some kind of undercover CEO, are you?" No, no, uh, definitely not a CEO. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what I meant to say was, I'm definitely not a CEO who's undercover, but I might be undercover, but not a CEO. Uh, You're not going to get in trouble, I promise. I don't have any connections in this place. Uh, <laughs> As it turns out, Phoebe's actually just like a secret shopper, but for corporate buildings. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> you could say I'm like a, a secret shopper for corporate buildings. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's incredible. Isn't it, though? It, it's a nice job. Roll fast talk. Yeah, roll fast talk. Listen, my fast talk is great. I don't fucking need to roll fast talk. Well, you're going to anyway. <laughs> it's not going to stay in. It's not. Oh, yes. I lost one of my D10s already, guys. I don't know where it went. Hey, Max, am I pretty? Yeah. Okay, that's a success. Okay. Uh, she says... Oh, so that means you're not really going to start working here then, huh? Uh, no, probably not. It's a nice place. If you you should start working here though. She like looks around at the dark building and says, "After today, we'll certainly see you, won't we?" We will. There's one more thing though. So, if you're going to help me out, you're going to need to be undercover too. Um, uh, okay. And she and Phoebe runs in the bathroom and she grabs uh Paper towels, and she's gonna make a disguise for them. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, why don't you tell me about this disguise? Alright, so she's gonna Um She's gonna stuff a bunch of paper towels into her stomach, like up into her stomach shirt. She's gonna give herself like a nice big gut. Like a a big, big gut. Why don't okay. you just pretend to be pregnant? 
I mean, that would work. Yeah, sure. But then what? <laughs> I don't know how that's going to benefit me. <laughs> how is no. your original plan going to benefit you? <laughs> You'll see. No, I was going to say, if you're pregnant and if someone gives you her a, a hard time, you can be like, oh, God, oh, I'm going water. to... Yeah. You're stressing my baby. Okay, I actually... I actually... <laughs> Oh. Look at him, he's mad. <laughs> you can hear him. <laughs> my baby. <laughs> I'm taking back my point of trying to give you a good cover. Uh, you have to be. You have to go with your first plan. No, I'm. I'm pregnant now. <laughs> baby is pregnant now. Okay. Um, and then she's gonna. So she stuffs her shirt. She's pregnant, and she's gonna. Stuff Savannah shirt. <laughs> no, she's not gonna <laughs> stuff. She's not gonna stuff Savannah's shirt. <laughs> Savannah like looks at you. And she like, kind of like holds out the bottom of her shirt and she says, "Sister wives." <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make you a I man, like, but okay. I like Savannah. Okay. You should be her friend after this. I think I will. Um, so okay, I'll I'll be like, Phoebe shakes her head. She's like, "Yeah, sister wives." <laughs> <laughs> and she stuffs Savannah's shirt. Hell yeah. All right, now should I roll disguise? Yes. You know who I hope they bump into? That supervisor from earlier, and she's like, what did you two do? <laughs> uh, so I needed a... We went to the bathroom and got pregnant. <laughs> the, building is, the building is the father. You have to pay child support now. <laughs> so I needed a 15. I rolled a 13. Uh, okay. Phoebe... You and Savannah look convincingly pregnant. Hell yeah, we do. Uh, she's gonna get that. She's gonna get that. <laughs> so she's gonna look at she's gonna look at Savannah and be like, "All right, walk like I do." And she's gonna get that pregnant walk. She's gonna have her hand on her back, and you she's gonna, gonna walk. Like, she's gonna waddle. It um, helps if you just fart a lot. <laughs> Savannah follows in stride and says, "God, my feet are killing me." <laughs> He doesn't respond. <laughs> she just laughs, and they keep walking. Okay. Uh, Cornelius, have you had sufficient time to think? No, I was busy thinking about Phoebe getting child support from Silver, from Sterling and his sons. Um, just bump into Phoebe and be like, what are you doing? What okay, happened? Wait. wait, I have a great idea. Okay, so they're, they're, they were like... They were, like, making fun of me for being afraid of the dark, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. And also eating sandwiches. I don't think I clarified that, but I didn't say they were on lunch. They, they are on um, company-sponsored lunch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, so I'm going to I'm gonna look down for a second and then look back up and be like, are you guys making fun of me on my first day of work? Um, I'd like to report this to HR. <laughs> okay. Where's HR? I need to talk to them right now. One of the guys is like, I'm HR. <laughs> yeah, I'm reporting you. Uh, yeah, I'm reporting you. Uh, HR already went down the stairs, dumbass. All right, well, then I'll go find the CEO. <laughs> Do you want to roll intimidation again? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Cornelius is being a big man today. I love sassy Cornelius. Me too. Oh, yeah, just made it. I got a 15. Wow. Dude, that's awesome. <laughs> Good for Cornelius. Um, uh, one of them says, "What? <laughs> you like your job? Yeah. Want to want to go downstairs with me instead of making fun of me uh, for not knowing the building that I just walked into today for the first time? <laughs> Tough guy. Fuck. Oh uh, shit. He got us. He got us. Uh, Bilberg. Bilberg. <laughs> <laughs> he got us. Bilberg. <laughs> and Bilberg is like." Yeah, I guess you fucking did, didn't you? Stupid fucking new guy. And the other guy's name is Strembo. Uh, Balberg and Strembo stand yeah. up. Uh, They're brothers. Yeah. Strembo. The, last, the last name was Pineapple. Strembo Pineapple. <laughs> Grambo Pineapple. Uh, no, there's no Grambo. Who's Grambo? That's, that's a character that's that I That's their brother who's not working today. Strembo and Balberg. And Strembo, Balberg, and Grembo are all Grembo brothers. has a son. Grembo has strep today. He's out for the day. <laughs> Uh, they both shamefully walk out of the uh, security office, and one of, one of them says, "All right, let's fucking go down the stairs, I guess." All, All right, right, lead the way. I don't know where I am. It's dark. I've never been here before. <sighs> yeah, okay. And they start walking uh, back towards the stairs. Uh, I follow them until we get to the stairs. Okay. And then I lock the door to the stairwell, and now they're <laughs> over there, and they don't realize it. <laughs> All right, they're about halfway down uh, the first flight. And they're like. What the fuck? 
And I'm, as, I'm already back in the security office by the time they notice the door's locked. You hear Stremo say, did we just fucking see a fucking ghost? <laughs> <laughs> Ballberg says, fucking spooky phantom up in here. <laughs> and Cornelius, you're back in security. I'm just, gonna, I'm gonna I tuck, hate them. <laughs> I hate them. I'm going to tuck a do- uh, chair under the door handle just in case they come back. Okay. And then I'm going to get down to business. Um, is, is there is there power related switches up here there are a lot of switches that are labeled extremely cryptically <laughs> i mean you're looking at rows and rows of buttons and uh like flick switches uh, a handful of levers some off security monitors i mean it's a shit show um can Stop i see like shit. are there like cameras for like just this floor on this floor or are they like for everywhere on this floor uh i think it's just this floor are you telling me this fucking place has every a security office for every single floor? You're right, Beth. That's ridiculous. There are uh, there are monitors that are displaying. Well, actually, they're off right now, so you wouldn't know. Can I turn them on? The power's off. Can I? These clowns were just eating in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> no, they they have like a dim red light, but the 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 actual equipment is off. Uh, just start pressing shit until something does something. Nothing's gonna do anything. It's <laughs> there's no power right now. I take out my walkie-talkie. Okay, who do you call? Uh, Phoebe. All right, you call P. Hey P. Uh, it's P. Who's this? Uh, this is C. Oh, hey, what's up, C? Uh, hey, so um, power. What about? It's out, right? Are we? I mean, Has anyone I was, found power? I got I got my friend Savannah here. We're looking for or S. We're going by code names. This is S. We're looking for the power right now. Savannah okay. takes the walkie-talkie and says, "Don't worry, I know you're a corporate spy." <laughs> Phoebe takes it back, and she's like, "Yep, <laughs> we're corporate shoppers. We're secret corporate shoppers." Yeah, of course, yeah. naturally. Uh huh. And we're just helping save the day at this company at Sterling and Sons and Silvers. <laughs> All right. Well, um, um, what are you doing right now, C? I am hanging out in the security office, <laughs> just taking care of business Perfect. as usual. Perfect. Um, everyone on my floor has been safely um, taking their journey down the stairs <laughs> because there's no power, so safely, the elevators don't yeah. work. Yes. Yeah. So, so you know, so safety first. We're taking the elevators. I mean, the escalators. I mean, the. Never mind. <laughs> Those things. Stare. Yeah. The, the uh. stationary escalators. <laughs> Great. Phoebe's like, all right, well, we're going to keep looking for the emergency power, see. Uh, we'll get back to you if we find anything. Uh, thanks so much. Yeah. Bye. Bye. All right, Cornelius. Um, well, I'll tell you what. I was kind of hoping that you would suggest this, uh, but you didn't. So here we go. Because there are a few rolls you can try and make to uh, work your way around this. Um, I am going to have you roll uh, intelligence, computer use, and electronics. <laughs> I have all of those skills. Three separate roles? I think I yes. do too. Uh, in that order, please, so you don't just get to pick and choose. <laughs> so I think intelligence is first. Um, I got a 14, which is my top tier for intelligence. All right, so you got an extreme success. Um... Then computer use. I did not pass that. Okay, and electronics. Do not pass that either. <laughs> okay. Um, Ooh, electronics only has a one, huh? <laughs> uh, if you don't put anything into it, for sure. <laughs> yep. Um, yep. <laughs> so you think that you may have located uh, the specific area that is dedicated to uh, kind of surplus power and uh, specifically like activating things. Uh, however, as you stare at it, uh, you have no idea how to operate it. Uh, do you want to either push or uh, use luck points to make one of your other uh, rolls success? Um, 
no. <laughs> All right. So you scratch your head <laughs> uh, and sort of kick a, a rolling chair a few few inches down, and you're like, fuck. Phoebe! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what are you? What are you doing? What are you and Savannah doing right now? Uh, we're on the first floor, right? Yep. There's usually a directory in the first floor, like the like where everything is, like the signs and everything. Yeah. We're we're at that. All right. Uh, so you're you're looking it up and down, and indeed, uh, you see a uh, a pretty large employee only section. Hell yeah! Uh, that is that is sort of xed off from the rest of the directory. It's not too terribly far from where you are now. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's like B one. Okay. Uh, and Savannah says, "So that's where we go to turn on the power." Uh, that's what it looks like. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I think so. Okay. You ready? I'm all. I'm following you. All right. She waddles. All right. Uh, she she waddles after you and says, "So." Who is our sister husband? A man named Tobert. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's a horrible name. That sounds so fake. Yeah, he's a horrible person, too. Our, whoa. <laughs> like, just kind of a shitty, like... He's just... He's weird. Why do you hate him so much? Don't... He's an asshole to Phoebe. Well, I was going to say, don't look at me like that. Like, give me the answer. I he's an know. asshole to Phoebe. Is he? Phoebe. Yeah. Phoebe. Oh, he... yeah. <laughs> Yeah. He's just stupid. He's dumb and Phoebe hates him. Oh my god. Uh Savannah nods solemnly and says, So what do we see in him? <laughs> he's large and I'm shy. I was gonna say he's large, but then I was like, that might come out wrong. <laughs> That's why I said Take large. it as you will. <laughs> he's tall he's, in a lot of ways. He's tall. <laughs> he's hairy. He's big. He's broad. He's that's big, it. Harry. He's the Alaskan bullworm. <laughs> we had to fight Tobert all along. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. Phoebe's just like he's got money. Savannah nods solemnly and says, "Hell yeah, he does." <laughs> Tobert dies in this adventure. I'm gonna be really sad. Atticus like realized that she doesn't super mind being called Addy by him because now mm. he's like kind of like an older brother figure to her that's not like anderson and now i just love him oh no and his name is tobert fungelstein <laughs> all right so you guys head over to uh the stairs that lead down as you shine your flashlights uh phoebe you feel a little rumble in your pocket or your purse now as you put uh cap and punch in your purse right 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 uh and you hear a muffled what the fuck is going on and like a little pounding on the side of the purse. Oh like my a... god! Okay, uh, <laughs> Savannah, pregnant lady's got to pee. Hold on one second. She winks and says, "Gotcha." So I go off into a hallway. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Away from Savannah, I take out Captain Punch. Okay. And I'm like, "Hey, bud, I'm sorry. Um, listen, I got somebody else with me right now, and they can't really know about you. That's why I put you in my purse. I wasn't trying to be mean." Pee. What is the deal? What What's the status? Okay, so we're me and the nice lady are going down to the emergency power to turn that on, so that way we can get to Atticus and Tobert and get them out of that crazy fucking basement. Ah, shit. We're in an IDFK situation. I don't fucking know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Cornelius is in charge of security right now. He's doing all that stuff. Wow, a promotion already. Yeah, look at that boy go. He is rising through the ranks. I can't wait to have to assassinate him one day. <laughs> Phoebe laughs. She's like, yeah, me too. That's going to be great. Hell yeah. All right. So are you okay with going back in my purse for a little while? If you need any expertise, you be sure to give me a call. Oh, you got it, bud. And I put him back in my purse. <laughs> okay. Um, and then I go back to Savannah. And I'm like, sorry. Really had to go. She like looks around the corner because you just walk down the <laughs> hallway and says, is there, is there a bathroom down that way? Yeah, don't worry about it. Let's go. Cool. I'm pregnant now. I had to pee. <laughs> if there wasn't a bathroom, it's a bathroom now. <laughs> uh, Atticus, down in the basement, uh, that rumbling is growing louder and louder, slowly but steadily. Uh, her grip on Tobert's arm it increases, and she's like, what do we do? He uh, motions to his proton pack again. Says, are you sure you don't want this? I don't. But also, I don't want to die. Uh, but I, I really... Oh, uh, I swore I'd never use a fucking gun again. And that's just a laser gun. Addy, do not think of this as a gun. 
he like he grabs you by the shoulders and says Atticus Rivers this is a highly experimental reverse vacuum cleaner it does not do its job very well in fact it is probably lethal and extremely dangerous but look it has a fun little thing where if uh, it was a vacuum you could suck up the dust and all the fun junk into it it is not a gun Please accept this horrible reverse vacuum cleaner. Okay. I will roll persuasion if you want. No, she's fine. She's, okay. she's kind of just like... Uh, <laughs> I, I, when she gets challenged, I feel like she doesn't... Back, she backs down really easy. <laughs> so she's okay. just... She kind of looks like... I think it's the situation, but she looks really scared and she's like... Oh, okay. Uh, and Tobert says... We are hunters. We have hunted... God knows what for years. That is why we are here. Right? We're not going to break character. We're going to destroy this thing. Well, that's what we've been doing for years. That's right. <laughs> uh, and he, like, holds out his arm now. Like, for me to take it? For, like, for like a bro, like, like grab you by, like, the forearm kind of shake. Uh, she just gives him a hug. Okay. <laughs> Tobert gives you a hug too and is like, oh, hell yeah, Addy. <laughs> uh, and he stands at the ready. Uh, she puts hers on but looks kind of like she's going to throw up. Um, I think her hands are shaking. Oh, oh, for sure. Yeah. And as the two of you stand in this open, cavernous space, the rumble grows louder and louder. You realize it's not coming from one of the tunnels. It's coming from below. Oh, fuck. Uh, and as the ground quakes more and more, you watch as a crack forms in the floor, uh, a little ways away from where you are. We have to get up higher. We have we have to get on something. <laughs> I liked your face. <laughs> yeah, looking around, panicked. Um, Tobit says, where the fuck do you want us to go? Uh, I Climb, like, you fool. Yeah, I'm like feeling the wall. I'm like, is there a hand? <laughs> not really it's pretty smooth um the elevator like the is there like a little stepping area on it yeah probably i shove tober to get in, into it and i like stand as on it as i can with his giant toe body okay <laughs> so what are you trying to do just stand in the, like the shade of the elevator like the like the general area of the elevator because if the floor goes out from underneath us i'm just hoping this elevator will stick Okay, uh, the floor does not actually go out from under you, but a large hole opens up as a large, ghostly pale worm erupts into the cavern. Uh, and the top half of it, you have no idea how far down this thing goes, but the top half of it uh, lands hard on the floor as it sort of slithers around trying to find the two of you. Maybe if we don't shoot it, it'll just go away. Can you roll, <laughs> I don't know, something something to indicate how quiet you're being? Mm -hmm. Sneak? Sneak. Yeah, that's a good one. You don't even know worms don't even have ears or eyes. Yeah, they have echolocation. They go, <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> that's what this worm does. Worms have skin eye. <laughs> <coughs> they hurt my throat. They sense they sense light with their skin. Did you know that? That's your worm fact. So I got today. a twenty one, and I needed a seventy. So yeah, <laughs> okay. I got a hard success. <clears throat> Tober is breathing heavily. It's like, wait, hold on. Tober's like, <laughs> I clap my hand over his mouth. Not like that loud, but I put my hand over his mouth, and I'm just like. That's what you just did. Yeah. Do that again. Breathe through your nose, Tobert. Oh, good. He says through muffled <laughs> fingers. Um, Phoebe. Uh huh, that's me. We're cutting back to you. Hello, it's Cordelius me, is just kind of. <laughs> he's I chilling. To, he's waiting. I, have, I need electricity. Yeah, I got you, fam. Um, Phoebe, you and Savannah uh, stand outside of a door. It's a heavy metal door, uh, and there are several uh, electric like warnings uh, posted on it, mm -hmm. which gives you an indication that you've probably found the main power. Okay. Uh, can I open the door? Uh, you do. Can you roll sanity for me? Oh, no, I can't. 
Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, you're shit. You're S O L. <laughs> you're shit, and that's it. You're shit S O L. Okay, I'm good. All right, Savannah is actually also good, surprisingly. Go, go, Savannah. As the two of you open the door, to your horror, so you see a row of uh, expensive-looking equipment. Um, you're not an electrician by any stretch of the imagination, and neither am I. <laughs> but fried, mangled in the wires, Phoebe. Mm-hmm. You and Savannah see a human body. Uh, what? Savannah screams. She says, "Oh my god! What? what the I shut the door." <laughs> okay. Savannah grabs you by the shoulders and starts shaking and says, What the fuck is Savannah, that? Savannah, Savannah, Savannah. Is that a body? It is a body. Okay. A body of what? A person. Who's dead? I, Beth, were you not listening? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm trying to stay awake. Um. So, uh, should Phoebe just let her know what's going on? Phoebe's going to tell her what's going on. Phoebe's going to kiss? Let... What? Who? Savannah. Oh, okay. She's gonna be like, okay, Savannah, I'm not really a secret shopper. What? Okay. Are you really an employee? No. What the fuck? Okay, Savannah, listen. Um, so I lied to you, and I'm sorry. Um, so here's the thing. My friends and I are actually here because this place is really fucked up, and they kidnapped one of our friends, and we're trying to get him back. Um, it's really weird. Uh, we are in a, over our heads, kind of, but yeah. There's a body in there, so that's cool. I'm panicking. I'm sorry. She kind of looks a little crestfallen and says, So are we not sister wives? No, we're sister wives. Listen, <laughs> I really like you, Savannah. You're really cool, but... Oh, God, I'm so sorry for getting you into this. Oh, fuck. Okay. Savannah turns out to be ride or die. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm hoping. Uh, yeah, she kind of grimaces and says... So what do we do? We're oh, sister wives. We're sister wives still, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> There's one more thing I should tell you. You're going to freak out. Um, so <laughs> she pulls Captain Punch out and she's like, and this is my, my little, my little accomplice. Uh, this is Captain Punch. Captain Punch, say hi. I hate capitalism. <laughs> Savannah screams and faints. <laughs> Perfect. All right, Phoebe opens the door and goes back in. Cornelius, <laughs> you are perched outside of the security office. There are two men inside. Um, unlike, do you, do you want a drink? I want a drink. Go ahead, drink. Drink now. Drink now or forever hold your pee. <laughs> <laughs> just burping. I choked. <laughs> I tried to make a really loud sipping noise and I just went... <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was trying to do. <laughs> All right, are we good? <coughs> I hate all of you. <coughs> no, I'm good. Do you... Wait, what is that? It's gone forever. <laughs> I, I heard it too. What was it? It was music. It was weird. It was like... Doo, 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 doo. unusual anyway, anyway phantom music is gone um so <laughs> beth is taking a nappy nap right now hey. Hey, uh, uh hold on there's somebody mowing the lawn outside right now hey can you land your airplane what the fuck they're driving in reverse <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like the front half of a semi truck backing up the street it's over here oh i see it oh that boy's crazy oh, i found my d10 Hey, can you finish landing your plane? Hold on, there's a helicopter landing on the top of the building, see? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Beth, no, no ASMR today. 
heard that I slowly oh, turn. Look at that. <laughs> Canned air ASMR. Canned air ASMR. <laughs> 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 Blowing your nose ASMR. Peeing ASMR. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Hey, see. Sorry. That dude's done landing his plane now. Beth, what are you doing, bud? Taking a nap. Beth, no. <laughs> <laughs> Beth, please, no. Can you please put this in blue papers? Yo, yeah. What are you doing, bud? <laughs> Taking, Taking a nap. nap. <laughs> It's really hard to keep my head up with nothing to focus on. I wish I could rest my head on something, but I'm just like, and I don't want to get out of my seat. So I was like, maybe I'll just curl up in a ball. <laughs> it sounds like a dangerous idea. Fuck. Can you grab me one paper towel, ball it up, and throw it at me? 